Oh, less than a week ago, I was in California and it was like 80 degrees and sunny and beautiful and warm. And now look at this, it's snowing. Um, back to winter in April in, in Idaho, I guess. It'll melt pretty soon, um, but right now I'm heading out to go interview my old uh, Nordic ski coach um, for the podcast. He is an absolute legend in the world of cross-country skiing. He uh, has coached Olympians, national champions, and has uh, just been an integral you know, role model and mentor in my life um, growing up here. And he has a lot of great stories and wisdom and insight into athletics and beyond and just creating a, a great humans. And so I'm really excited for that. I think it should be a really fun conversation and excited to share that with you. Paula, the legend. I hardly. Have you ever done a podcast before? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been interviewed a couple times, but right. never a podcast. Just before we start, what's your definition of living the dream? Uh, getting to do what I get to do, which is cross country ski coach. Nice. Yeah, it's sweet. Can't can't complain. No, nobody <laughs> would accept it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sweet Rick. So much uh, gratitude for you being here and, and sitting down with me, and just for. The amazing uh, mentorship that you provide to so many kids, uh, well, and, and me especially, you know, I'm the best. So <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy to do it. It's yeah, it's been great uh, watching you uh, evolve in your uh, career yeah. since your time with us, and, and yeah, I'm happy to be here. And the big thing always in endurance athletics is we stayed healthy. Yeah. And so the kids were healthy. We were healthy all through our peaking, you know, our taper plan. And we'd stay healthy pretty much all season long. And so when that happens, good things happen. One time. Thanks again, Rick. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, hey. How did it go? How did Great. you feel? First podcast ever done? Ever. Ever. This could be a thing. I don't. I you should not. do it. You should start a podcast. No, I, <laughs> I would. Yeah. Well, I'll see you soon. See ya. Taking the dogs out for a short little walk. Had an awesome podcast this morning with Rick, just a super awesome human, inspiring, lots of great uh, words of wisdom. Look for that coming up soon, the next few weeks. And yeah, just been kind of spending the rest of the day getting some schoolwork done. I have a big, big, huge project due this uh, next week in that class. So I'm kind of working on that, get some work done. And then I took a nice power nap, which I haven't done in a while. Um, so that was good. It's been super nice to just decompress and recharge after the chaos that was the last month and a half of my life or so in uh, California. And, uh, you know, just as a kind of more of an outgoing introvert type of person, I really need these, these times, these periods of, of, you know, self-reflection and, um, more alone time being, um, okay with just, just kind of spending more time alone and being in, engaged in more introspective activities like meditation, like listening to podcasts, listening to music, reading, um, all that kind of stuff. And it's the next couple of weeks are just going to be kind of focused on that. And, um, before I head off on the next adventure, while I love the social stuff and I love the adventure and kind of nonstop action, like what was going on in California, I definitely need some time to myself to, um, really recover. And to me, there are very few places in the world that I've been that rival the natural beauty of Idaho. And it just is such a gift and blessing to be able to come back here and spend some time in nature and just chill out, uh, not be so obsessed with the work, the hustle, and just enjoy and embrace um, the natural world because 
I mean, who knows how long it's going to be here for the most part. And uh, it's, it's, it's something that I love and I've always loved. And for me, nature is one of the neatest things on this planet. I want to be able to spend as much time outside as possible. And sometimes it's hard to, you know, make that happen. For me, being outside is extremely healing, especially in a place like Idaho where I'm basically surrounded by just so much, you know, untouched wilderness and land. And it, it can improve your day, it can change your mindset. It's like active meditation. And it also just connects you with the natural world in ways that we don't get in the 21st century. You know, just seeing, you know, I was out here the other day and there was a t like, a huge herd of elk and probably saw over a hundred bluebirds just flying around in a huge flock and it and it's just amazing and I wish that more people could see what it's like in places like this or experience the outdoors uh, like it should be you know experienced and so I just I just urge you to take more of an effort to go outside and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just as simply as a walk walking your dogs being more grateful and appreciative and aware of the natural surroundings that that we live in what we have here is your standard christmas tree a little tidbit of information that not everybody knows is that christmas trees actually grow all year round not just when they're christmasy and santa's around it's pretty neat So for example, I don't know if you can tell, but that's a huge herd of elk right there. Uh, just pretty close to my house. See them? And so yeah, it's just awesome to be out here in the wilderness. Not, I mean, not full wilderness, but it's beautiful nevertheless. Look at that. What do you guys think? Augie. What do you think? You like it? You like the outside? Yeah, me too. It's pretty damn gorgeous out here. What are you making? I'm gonna make a peach rhubarb strawberry crisp. Completely vegan. Completely vegan. Classic springtime in Idaho. Snow in the morning and warmed up and melted enough to go for a bike ride in the evening. Hey, it's also been a while since I've done a Q&A on the vlog, so leave me a question and I will do my best to answer it in the next vlog. Making just a super simple stir fry with some tofu, onions, spinach, peppers, and rice noodles, and rice, purple cabbage, and cilantro. Okay, I hope all of you have an awesome weekend. Uh, I have unfortunately a like 15 to 20 page research uh, proposal and presentation due uh, next week for school. So that's what I'm gonna be working on this weekend. Um, and it's supposed to snow again, which is really lame. Um, do a little meditation before going to bed. I've been really liking the morning and evening meditation, just a short, you know, 15 minutes of uh, morning and evening meditation. Um, it's been really helping me out a lot. It's been really nice. Um, and I hope to continue that. You know, it's, it's such an important piece of my routine sometimes and uh, it, it often kind of gets neglected when I'm super busy. Again, if you want to ask a question, um, leave a comment down below and I will get hopefully try and get to as many questions as I can in the next vlog. 
love to answer questions, it'd be super fun. And speaking of that, I think I'm gonna also try and do an Instagram live Q&A session um, on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Uh, mountain time, so I guess that's like 6.30 p.m. Um, on the West Coast, Pacific time. Um, so go check it out, TFF Lifestyle on Instagram. And yeah, until then, go eat some plants and do some epic shit. Thank you.